this project is called a partial index. And it's a project that has come out of a kind of year's uh, development of collective work with five PhD students from Newcastle University. And we um, started to collectively discuss some of the issues in our own research practice um, within the university and some of the kind of experience of being a researcher within the institution. Um, and so a partial index is the kind of culmination of this year-long set of discussions, talks, um, explorations into different subjects. So the group is made up of five different disciplines, essentially. Art history, architecture, computing science, um, geography, and uh, music. So over the five days, we're, each day we're taking on a different part of the project. Um, it's been made up of uh, three or four different separate strands. So the first day we are working with an, an archive of images um, that was collected around the social and architectural history of the biker area of Newcastle. Um, and the archive was collected as a way of examining the changes that have gone on in that area over the last sort of 100 years, essentially. Um, so the first day we're going to be working with that material. So we have, we have the kind of archive in its material form um, and we're going to work on uh, how that's displayed, how we think about the archive as a whole, um, and some of the issues that come out of that. Part of the, the underlying background to the, the exhibition as it is here and what we're working on in this exhibition space is to think around the concept of the index and how the index can be used as a tool or a way of thinking through certain positions or certain objects or certain collections of objects. So part of what we're doing in the space over the the five days is writing a number of indexes in response to what we've got on display. Here. The second day, we're working with a collection of found objects that we have, um, that we've collected from a series of anonymous donors who've um, given us uh, personal objects or sentimental objects that they've found. And we're working with these in response to some of the, the, the relationship with the archive as well. Um, and then on the other two days, we're kind of work bringing it all together into two separate projects. One is a kind of performed indexed film essay um, that we've been working on um, in Biker. And, um, and we've written a kind, of, a kind of provisional script that we're going to perform in this space. And the other part, the final part, is a c the culmination of the whole project is a publication um, that we're going to work on the final day in this space, which is called Innovation with Hesitation. The starting point for the project was uh, looking at the way that um, I decide to make things, which often comes from a kind of literary source or um, sort of reflects on uh, different ideas that I get from poetry. That's the title. A method for writing, a method for making. It's about finding methods to carry on working. So um, in my case, uh, a lot of the ways that I choose uh, you know, I'm quite an indecisive person. A lot of the ways that I make decisions is by looking for kind of clues as to how to progress in literature and poetry. There's a kind of looseness which is affiliated with poetry, but there's also a conciseness. So there's this strange paradox where there's sort of a paring down of something which is um, my, like a lot of the way that I approach things is to get rid of things. Uh, but also at the same time there's an opening up and I like that sort of paradox. I'm going to be working with uh, three local poets who uh, are going to... We're going to discuss a couple of texts, which I've already sent them. And then there's a, um, a discussion um, about how I approach making, and then uh, within quite strict parameters, they're going to make some sculpture for me. So the wall texts, uh, there was one precursor to this, which was called A Method for Understanding Distress. And that came from an interview with Samuel Beckett where he said that he was interested in notions of human distress. And uh, as a kind of flippant uh, way of like, take, uh, taking that on, I looked up distress in the dictionary and I wrote down all the different uh, uh, synonyms for the word and then uh, from, a, um, from a thesaurus and then used the dictionary to find the example sentences for each of those, and it makes this strange kind of list poem. And uh, the two war texts here take another quote from him where he's sort of putting himself into a very particular posi position where he says, uh, all that matters is the laugh and the tear. So it made me think about tragicomedy, and uh, this war text takes the same method, um, 
for tragedy, and the one at the other end of the gallery takes the same method for comedy. These are um, three small cast silicon pieces. They're called uh, A Heaping of Negatives, a poem in three stanzas for Gottfried Ben. A Heaping of Negatives is um, how Michael Hoffman uh, described Gottfried Ben's later poems. And I like this idea of a paradox where something negative can be heaped, so something that's being taken away can be like more like an embellishment. Uh, so it's sort of a gestural mark, which is an erasing, which becomes a photographic mark, which then becomes an inverted photographic mark. Um, so this is kind of like the idea of pulling in two directions.